got a very, very special guest for you this week, ladies and gentlemen. Hello, punters. Introducing the man behind the camera. We're, uh, we're changing it up from uh, here on in, unless we get too many complaints. The big fella's going to be sitting next to the little fella and uh, talk about all things racing and, uh, and what's come from the team in the past seven days. Was missing last weekend in action. Holiday. How'd you get up and got there right, did you? <laughs> I had two days off. It was my annual leave for the year. They, all the old blokes talk about how they never got holidays. Well, we don't need to know about that. We just need to know about the trip up to Port Macquarie. We started on it. Roof rack, flat tyre. We had a few disasters. Us punters are, are known to have a few of them in our times. And uh, I certainly encountered one last Thursday. Uh, seven days, I reckon I'll have a candle lit every year from here on in because it was certainly an adventurous 7,000 hours getting up to uh, Port Macquarie. Anyway, good last uh, last week anyway, Brazen Bar in Brisbane. Yeah, and, um, group two win, um, something. third start, so he looks like he's got plenty of upside and on to the size produced in two weeks time. Uh, old Tromso, I think an eight year old from the first Lonro crop. Uh, winning a Saturday race, there was only one, one we got at Rose Hill, but plenty of other places and certainly some promising runs there, as he was yesterday at Canterbury. And Brazen Boat, you you confident he'll stay the mile if he gets through the size in one piece? I'm not sure about the mile, but I'm certainly confident of the 1350. And then it's all, of, well, at least with our horse, we don't have to make him improve, we know he's good enough. Um, naturally, he'll get fitter with each run. And Trom's are an interesting horse. Um, he was nearly on the chopping block there, uh, last preparation. You drove him out and let on him one day and welcome back some. I think he's won three eighty to $100,000 races in the last six months. Now. Well, yesterday uh, we saw Rock Temple being a consistent city class horse this prep. Uh, break through for his maiden win. Yeah, it was a good win. Uh, good ride by Glenn Schofield. And yeah, they certainly put pay to the others. And enormous honour around third in the race. He'll be one to watch next start. Chaps don't want enormous on it. Yeah, a little bit. Something. Saturday, uh, country racing, city racing heads to the country. Scone, uh, the two day carnival, Friday and Saturday. Only two runners in Friday, uh, Basso and Sedcom in the cup. Yeah, just how it is. And it's more country racing. It's class one, class two races, which we don't have a lot of horses for. And Abasso is a good example. He's a class one horse, three year old, racing against the older horses, and he's got 59 kilos plus barrier 16. So uh, he might have a buy, as we'll probably said, Com. Um, yeah, I think he can wait for another race. Anywhere in particular? Uh, Rose, probably Rose Hill in two weeks time. Saturday, uh, you wanna go through Skane or Brisbane first? Up to you, you're the boss. We'll go straight to Skane on Saturday. Uh, only in two races, but a good team of six runners entered for the meeting. Uh, the first race, a staying race, three runners, Sagan, new addition of the stable in Tenacitus and Black Jag. Yeah, uh, Tenacitus, he's the top weight, 60 kilos, but uh, pretty handy horse and it's a big step down in grade for him. I think he ran in the group race last start, the last day of the car. Beyond the Anchor, yeah. That's right. And the horse of Hayes is the one yeah. the JRA play. So, um, He'll certainly notice a difference in class and it's worked very well since coming over to our stable and got the two kilo claim with Damien Thornton so it brings it down to 58. Black Jag, he's Mr Consistency, I'm sure he'll roll along and should get conditions to suit and will appreciate the big track it's going to just create some more genuine staying tempo. Then you've got Sigourn who's um, racing consistently well and Likewise with him, I think he'll appreciate the big track. Good draw, should get the run of the race. You're going eight to What's your thoughts? What do you reckon? What um, you, what's your money going on? Tenacitas. Fair enough. He hasn't got you before, so you're jumping out. <laughs> it's a new addition to my camp. I like what I saw on Tuesday. Good. Uh, three runners entered in the Luskin Star. Is it still the Luskin Star? The Luskin yeah. Star sakes Cope T, Del Rosso and Masthead. Probably wait with Copay T. Um, not a hundred percent happy with him. He's he's working well enough, but I don't think he looks as well as he can look. And probably best to wait a week or two. So it might give him a bite. Like you. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Val Rosso. He's thriving. Going really good. We won first up with him on the Gold Coast at Magic Millions Cup. 
says a horse that you can do it with first up and I think he's drawn well and realistically is the horse to beat and Masthead didn't he run a good race for a shot he should improve on that um, could be a smoker in the smoky in the stable might just keep improving what are you talking smoke Stradbrokes oh he'd have to win on Saturday impressively to, to go that far but he is nominated another one for the boys in Bowman yeah, they've been lucky owners to us, and uh, hopefully this horse can continue to improve because I think he even ran fourth in a golden slipper before going to Singapore. Just for the um, 4,572 viewers at home, for a horse like that to be, it was in a blue diamond, he was in a golden slipper, he was at the top level as a two-year-old, he went to Singapore, he's come back from Singapore, he's a five-year-old and he's still racing at a high level, pretty impressive. Yeah, it's a good effort. and. Um, yeah, he's, I think they appreciate coming back to Australia after those being in those Asian countries. It's quite intense. Um, look at the environment. We're in the beautiful harbour behind us. Yeah. Horses thrive. We thrive. I thrive. Yeah. Straight up to Doom, but um, how's the track up there, do you think? I'm not sure. I heard, I heard um, someone saying they might have had a bit of rain there, did they? I don't know. We'll have to check it out. Well, we, we'll get a weather watch maybe next week. You go around the grounds and have someone doing the weather. She's clean resumes over 1200 in the Joanna Mo Stakes. She does, yes. Do you know how to pronounce that? Wamo. Do you pronounce it Wamo? I don't know. Just the race that you did. Top weight, barrier one, Nashua Willow. Yeah. Um, anywhere near right, she'd blow them away, but to me, she's just a bit, I wouldn't say stale, but she's just going through the motions. Hence the reason why I've sent her up to Brisbane Land, just for a change of scenery. Our horses stay up on the Gold Coast when they're there, and they absolutely thrive. So, look, she's... Like Mammy heyday up the Gold Coast, sorry, she thrive a bit. <laughs> not she, anymore. She'll only arrive Thursday morning, and um, you're probably not going to get the fix out of it for this run, but following on from this run, you will. And what they get is a bit of warmth on their back, they walk around the canals, um, Again, a different environment and they just thrive. So I'm hoping that that'll just help switch this girl on. She's certainly up to it, as I said. And from barrier one, Nashua Willa should just get a lovely run, ready to attack late. Oh, I'm happy. Miss Hufflepuff uh, heads to Brisbane. She's come through the grades pretty quick, this girl. Um, one impressively a maiden, first up at Kemba. Two subsequent runs in town have been good. Very good, had no luck last start. And um, I think she's Really looking forward to 2,000 metres, and it's a big step up, but gee, she's impressed me. Um, yeah, we she's might, done a good job. We might be doing, going off a bit soon, but it's just good to see her get a run in a race like this, and we'll see where she's at on Saturday. And look, realistically, midfield, probably what her form suggests is where she'll finish, but I reckon she can do a lot better than that. I think she'll be in the first five and hopefully in the first three. Give me have something for a place, that's for sure. Place punters. <laughs> Please. I thought we sacked them. Two in the Durban Cup, uh, wait for age 2000 metre group one contest. Janub and Moriarty both coming out of that Hollandale Stakes. The Gold Coast a fortnight ago? They are. You uh, happy? Uh, very happy. They, um, Can you not end my sentences? Sorry. They worked very well on Tuesday morning. I was there and saw them work. And, um, Jupiter's Casino, the big man. And um, I couldn't have been more satisfied with their work. They both finished it off very well. They both look well. And I'll appreciate a better track. The heavy track at the Gold Coast didn't suit when they ran fourth and fifth. If they can get a dead track or better on Saturday, we'll look at it. Masthead in the last, he'll be scratching. Yeah, he won't run there. He'll run him at Scone. Anything else, all right? Um, pretty good. What's your best for the weekend? Tenacity's in a staying race. Fair enough. Is that it? That's it. Good luck.